Juan and Susie, I just got out of the courtroom, and it was a packed room, mainly media, but there were about 10 people from the public inside, many of them long-term Britney Spears fans. But go ahead and take a look at this. This is a sketch from inside that courtroom. Keep in mind, no cameras were allowed. Now, the hearing was predominantly via Zoom, and we actually did hear from Britney Spears via phone. Now, she was just as passionate and raw as she was last month. She even became emotional and started crying during her statement. She started off by saying that she wanted to petition the court to end her conservatorship, especially when it comes to her father, Jamie Spears. She even went as far as saying that she wanted her father charged with conservatorship abuse. But interesting enough, she said she only wanted to get out of the conservatorship if she could get out without being medically evaluated and that she doesn't want to end it if that's the case. Another big development, as we mentioned from today, is Britney Spears was able to hire her own counsel, something that the ACLU was fighting for, saying that it was her constitutional right. Now, that attorney is high-profile federal prosecutor Matthew Rosengart, a former federal prosecutor. He was actually in court and says that his main focus is ending the conservatorship. He even asked Jamie Spears, that's Britney's father, to step down. An attorney for her father says that is not going to happen and that the accusations that Brittany made were misstatements and that he wants them to be investigated. So as you just heard, a lot of developments in this Britney Spears conservatorship trial, but definitely a big win for her as she's now able to hire her own counsel. Of course, this is a developing story. The next trial is expected to be in September. And of course, we'll be there and bring you the very latest. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News. Chris, thank you. Today's court victory for